Hello YouTube, um, I thought I'd do a review this morning on the Tough Built Scraper Utility Knife that I originally bought, bought from um, Wix when I was buying um, some plaster to do um, a bit of a home job. Um, I just couldn't resist, a bit of a gadget. Um, but I did actually think, when looking at it, I do always struggle to find my scrapers. I've got some really cheap scrapers uh, and they're kind of here, there and everywhere and often take a long time to find them. Um, but I always know where my blades are. So to have actually one in the same, means hopefully I can always find a scraper. Um, you tend to use the, the blades probably a lot more often than the scraper, but um, they use the same blades. Essentially, um, they're kind of one in the same tool. Uh, and this is a great little fancy tool. I've not seen any other device do this, where you can have a blade, a retractable blade, and a flip of a button, a scraper. So um, I'm not actually open, opened it yet. Um, I've had a look through it all. Um, and there's like a little video, these QR links are pretty good with these new phones to see how it use, how to use it. And on the back, you can register, I think probably there, um, a two year warranty. And it's actually got a 25 year um, extended warranty, but that's for malfunction in the actual um, materials and products. So I guess if this handle fell off, uh, they'll give you a new one, but for wear and tear, they wouldn't. So the only thing that I'd consider here that could break is there's a spring in there which, you know, I imagine it won't break anytime soon, but that eventually could break, but they, that would be deemed as wear and tear. Um, so I'll open it up, and then what I'll do is compare it to some other brands, as in types of, of blades. So you get the fixed blade here, you get a retractable blade, and you get a kind of a, a bit of both, which I'll explain in a second. So if we open up, I mean, I've already, I've already, um, registered my warranty so you you click on the qr code and it takes you through to where you bought it when you bought it you upload um, a photo of your receipt and that's it i should have a confirmation email what i would say is that i normally well i was going to start kind of getting more invested in kind of metal um blades because they'd last a lifetime trying to avoid plastic ones but this does actually feel really rugged Relatively very well packaged. And it comes with five blades. Now, what I didn't realise when I bought this one is that they are bespoke bait, uh, bespoke blades. Um, so I haven't actually looked yet how much they cost. And it could be, I mean, this is 20 pounds, this blade. Uh, it's nice, so it's not cheap. But it could be sometimes that they actually plan to make a lot more money through the replacement of the blades. So they're not standard blades, as I'll show you. They are... They're made so that they can work with that mechanism. So you see here, they've got like a little hole in the middle, which allows it to be held in the middle, which makes it bespoke blade. So I'll be interested to see the, the cost of these compared to normal blades, because over the course of um, a working lifetime, they could recoup a lot more money in blades than they can for the actual unit. But what I would say, it does actually feel very robust. The plastic feels very tough. It feels really well made. Um, and I think that is that is going to last quite a while. I just feel like it's very robust. Um, it has got a few tools on it. So obviously you've got, as you've seen, you've got the retractable blade, which is handy, so no cover. Um, you've got the scraper that feels, there's a bit of wobble there, but you always get a bit of wobble with these retractable blades. Um, and also what you have is at the end, when I take this off, is a paint tin opener just there. But I think the main concern with these things is that they look great. Do they do they feel robust? And obviously you can't get that yourself from watching the video, but it definitely feels like solid plastic to me. So there's not really much more to it than that. Um, I haven't actually tried releasing the blade yet. I think I must have to do it when it's like this. Yeah, so you just push it to the side. And there's the blade. And then put it in. Like that. That's pretty simple. I've never done that before. It's obviously pretty simple. There's no complexity to it. So that does feel like a good product. It's obviously very straight. So it's whether you want, I think it's quite nice to have um, a blade like this where you can put two hands on it. So it's got a very good use for putting a lot of force through plasterboard or a carpet, um, which is obviously why the shape is like that. 
So I thought maybe there'd be an issue with this one because it's so straight. But it's again, it's quite quite large compared to something small like this. So you can get a lot of force on it. Probably could still get two hands on it. And it, I did I did think maybe I wouldn't like the shape, but I actually quite like it. It has to be the shape for the scraper. So yeah, I think that's that's good. I like that. And I think the main thing is that I've got a couple of scrapers. I've got no idea where they are. It'll take me about an hour to find them, but I always seem to know where my blades are. So um, I think that should probably solve that problem. Now to compare it to other blades, this is quite a cheap one that I got with a carpet fitting kit, and this is a fixed blade. So there's still a bit of wobble there actually, thinking about it, but obviously it's quite, the, the idea of these ones, you know, what, why would this be a benefit to one of these ones is that the blade would be firm and there'd be no wobble in it. So, you know, it's not a massive hassle, but it's a bit of a faff taking that. Very simple. Um, I think that's the benefit of, you get some dolphin blades, I think they're called. Um, and obviously other fixed blades is that the blade is fixed. So the idea, the only benefit really is that you can have a lot more, you have a, have a rigid blade, let, let less wobble. There's a little bit of wobble in that, but this is obviously quite a cheap one. Now, this is obviously completely made as a retractable blade. It's a nice smooth action there. And you know, you get a number, number of different versions of blades like this and different kind of storage. This holds a couple of uh, blades there. This is from Magnuson. Um, but again, the benefit is that you have a bit of wobble on that blade there, which is accepted. But that retractable uh, mechanism is quite smooth. This I find is a bit of best of both. Now it is retractable, but it doesn't feel as smooth retracting it. But I think the reason why is that you lock it down like this and it becomes rigid. So there's hardly, there's up and down movement in that, but there's no side to side movement. Yeah, up and down, but no side to side whatsoever. So even this one, there's a little bit of side to side. And that's the benefit. So you get ones like this where they aren't retractable, which would be completely rigid. And it's got a great mechanism there where it opens and you can hold, this is obviously from Stanley, and um, hold 10 blades plus extra in there and you've got a magnetic holder just there so and you can do it one hand as well so that's the aim of this one is that you keep it open slightly put the blade in blade out close it down and you've got a very 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 rigid blade and you can get two hands on it so they've all got the different uses uses oh, that's a very large blade but that's really just a, not a review of these, just to show you the differences compared to this. But um, yeah, I think that's great. The wobble, I mean, there's quite a lot of play in that, but I mean, that's just what you get with these retractable blades. Um, but having that scraper, I haven't seen any other um, scraper, any other blade do that. And obviously it's, it's the blade, same sets of blades, so you might as well get dual functionality out of it. That's it. So that's £20 from Wix. I think you can get it from Amazon and other places. Pretty much the same price. Feels very, very well built. Yep. So I had a look on the internet to see how much these blades cost. And at Tool Station, uh, they're £8.98 for a pack of 30. Now, when you compare that to normal Stanley blades, um, it's about right. You can get a pack of 100 Stanley blades for £30. So that evens out. It's roughly the same price. Sometimes you can get cheaper ones. You can get a pack of 10 for about £2, uh, non-Stanley. Um, so it depends on what kind of quality you want to go for. But um, they're always sold as actual utility blades. If you go for bespoke scraper blades, they can be upwards of £18 for a pack of 10 um, so obviously you'll be using these Stanley blades as utility blades and scrapers. So it's actually not too bad of a price. There's not much of a price hike, which I was surprised. So pretty good.